we can do the recycling and we can control the chemical use at the same time. There isn't a conflict between reach and recycling. REACH uh, plays a very important role to give a framework uh, and recycle of course is uh, necessary because we can't have all the raw, raw materials like we have it today. So how can we do both in a very efficient, transparent way uh, and uh, in a way that incentives uh, giving us a chance to reach our targets as soon as possible. I think there are two next steps. One is to get back to moving forward with the waste package. As it is, the Commission should just get on with it uh, rather than delaying further. And secondly, we really need to address the issue of hazardous chemicals in products. REACH isn't fully doing this. This needs to be addressed more and more strongly and we need to make sure that hazardous chemicals are not being authorised. We have the potential to recycle very, very large volumes of material that have already been used and are in service at the moment but will eventually come to end of life we need to address how that can be recycled in, in a practical way, complying with REACH but acknowledging that it may contain substances that are now either being assessed by or are on the list of, uh, uh, of harmful substances. But we need to ensure that we do not consign that material to either uh, incineration or landfill and lose it forever. There are complications for especially the small enterprises to, to, to how to meet the requirements, how to make a dossier, how to apply for an authorization, uh, how to make a socio-economic assessment, how to make a chemical safety report. Those questions are very relevant when you're talking about REACH, but for especially small and medium enterprises it might also be something which is not, so to say, a business as usual for them or normal daily practice. For the long term, REACH is definitely the solution because it's um, definitely incentivizing the innovation. But when you have now to deal with the legacy of the past, uh, those materials which were legal at a certain point in time have to be recycled now, otherwise we will be losing lots of resources. We should start now uh, to create a sustainable world for our children and uh, the main task is to build incentives and motivation to do it together in a benefits uh, way where uh, growth takes place and uh, where new jobs are created.